Hello and welcome to the second time briefing. I'm Thicky with the top five social and economic events for this week. Ho Chi Minh City Metro Life firm faces down. CEO of Tân Hiệp Phát Beverage Group detained. CAAV to increase flight frequency at Tân Sinh Nhất Airport. Local fuel prices surge. ACV asked to reduce dust at Long Thành Airport project. The cash strap Ho Chi Minh City Urban Railway No. 1 Company Limited SURC1, the city metro line number one operator, has been on the verge of going bankrupt given prolonged financial constraints. SURC1 has used up its 14 billion Vietnam dump starter capital for operational costs as of August 2021. The firm has reportedly not yet paid employee salaries and social insurance totaling 6.7 billion Vietnam dumps ever seen. 21 out of 36 employees of the firm have quit their jobs. However, Work on the project is now 94% completed, and the number of employees needed for the metro loss operation at the end of this year is 700 people. The city recommended the Ministry of Finance work with relevant agencies to eliminate obstacles in capital allocation for the formal operations. Trần Quý Thanh, A7D, founder and CEO of Tân Hiệp Phát Beverage Group, and his daughter Trung Yên Phương were detained on the last misappropriation of assets. The police filed a stamp charge against Han's second daughter, 36-year-old Trần Ngọc Bích, deputy CEO of Tân Hiệp Phát and director of Number no. 1 Hanam Company. This is the latest development in the proof and verification of the claims accusing Trần Quý Thanh, his two daughters, and some other individuals of committing acts of property embezzlement, abuse of trust, and misappropriation of assets and tax evasion. The actions were related to several big real estate and investment projects in Đồng Nai province and Ho Chi Minh City in November 2020. CO1 investigators launched criminal proceedings against a case of property embezzlement and fraud after receiving complaints from Lê Văn Lâm, CEO of Kim Won Đồng Nai Investment and Development GSC, Nguyễn Văn Chung, the rest of DCB company and Lâm Hoàng Sương. They claim that Thanh, Phương, and others use fake constructs on the transfer of projects to conceal a different construct on money borrowing, causing a loss of over 1 trillion Vietnam dumps to Kim Won Đồng Nai Investment and Investment JSC. Ho Chi Minh City authorities were also asked to freeze transaction of 33 lands laws owned by Phương in Thủ Đức and Bình Tân districts. Currently, David Riedel, Tân Hiệp Phát Beverage Group Vice Chairman, has been pitched as a new CEO and legal representative of the Bình Dương based company. The Civil Aviation Authorities of Vietnam, CAAV, have decided to increase aircraft movements at the Tân Sinh Nhất International Airport to meet the rising travel demand during the April 30th and May 1st holiday and summer vacation. Tân Sinh Nhất will have an additional 26 slots per day from April 28th to May 3rd and from June 1st to August 15th. With the increase in slot, Vietnamese carrier will provide an additional up to 5,000 seats per day, meeting the demand from passengers during peak periods. CAAV also requires airlines to operate flight on time and reduce flight delays and cancellations. The Metis fuel prices were revised up by about 1,000 Vietnam dollars per liter on April 11. According to an announcement jointly released by the Ministry of Industry and Trade and Finance, Pro 95 Street Gasoline, the most popular type of gasoline in Vietnam, is priced 24,240 Vietnam dollars per liter, up by 1,130 Vietnam dollars, and E5 Ron 92 Bio Gasoline costs 23,170 Vietnam dollars per liter, up by 1,090 Vietnam dollars. Auto fuels also matched up in price. Diesel oil now sells for 20,140 Vietnam dollars per liter. Kerosene and heavy fuel oil now sell for 19,730 Vietnam dollars per liter and 15,190 Vietnam dollars respectively. During this fuel price adjustment, the two ministries continue replenishing the fuel price stabilization fund. Deputy Prime Minister Trần Hồng Hà had requested the relevant parties to expedite measures to prevent red soil dust at the Long Thanh Airport project from impacting the nearby residential areas. According to the Deputy Prime Minister, Đồng Nai Province has done well in site clearance, meeting the process schedule. ACV and contractor needs to urgently apply measures to prevent dust pollution at the project. He proposed considering a plan to reduce dust for the land storage area and completing fencing for the project. 
underlining the importance of the package 5.10, the Deputy Prime Minister wanted to see less prestigious and competent general contractor for the package. ACV is required to strictly comply with the Prime Minister's guidance on human resource mobilization for the consultancy, coordination, supervision, and management of the project. And that's all from us for now. Thank you and see you next week.